Hit it. Hit it. Hit it. Hit it, boy. Hit it. Good boy. Get it, girl. Oh. <laughs> Air is on you, Molly. Hey, fish heads. What are we doing over here? Well, August of 2018. You may or may not remember back that far. If you've been a longtime user on the channel and subscribed, then you probably recall me featuring some of this stuff right before the Steelers Nation spray session. And one of the things, I, you know, I've, I've renovated this shop and rearranged it and kind of moved some stuff around. And boxes get shuffled here and there. And I was going through this box this morning and I came across my friend Paul Stiles' stuff. Now, he didn't just give me a little sampling of what he does. Um, he gave me a box loaded full of his custom work. And he never, he never asked for anything. Most of you guys don't. You just send me stuff. But I thought that we could incorporate, especially since so many of us are struggling as small businesses right now in the United States and, and all over the world, really. But I want to try and feature as many of you as I can um, that are in the fishing industry because that's really obviously that's my platform that's where I am working and and talking to you guys and uh, I, th I think that that's where small businesses in this industry maybe we can we can help each other out and I don't want anything in return but the things that I've had in the past like this stuff at Red Eye Lures from Paul Stiles I kinda wanted to to shuffle this stuff back through because it's really really good it's well put together it's not like some of the stuff that costs two bucks at the store um, it's handcrafted, 100% handcrafted all of the weights have been hand poured, all the shaky head um, molds have been poured by hand and powder coated these things are absolutely amazing and i love doing that for you guys but i i haven't talked to paul in a while and paul if you're by chance listening to this today i would love to hear from you again i've got the same phone number so give me a call and paul paul has a very storied history and and it's a really cool one he back in the day was good friends with ed chambers now if you guys don't know the name ed chambers all you have to do is go to any any retail store that sells fishing walmart's uh, bass pro tackle warehouse you name it it's going to be there because ed chambers and his wife faye founded zoom fishing and they founded it in a one-story horse barn in athens georgia and it was really a hobby to begin with and the guys from the Bassmasters club would all help out and he would pour stuff and then he developed this massive love of balsa lures thus wec was born and the rest is history now ed has since passed away i believe he passed within about a month of me airing the first video on this stuff because paul styles was not only a painter for ed and worked with ed but he was a really good friend so paul is one of the best custom guys in the business he's out of Denton, Texas these days and I just wanted to showcase a couple of his amazing pieces. He's into the jig and weight game primarily but he does buzz baits. Well I have a box over here but he's got the rattle, it's hand tied, um, he pours the molds, everything about this is obviously hand tied and you guys know that because I'm sure that I, I also reach an audience that just isn't repainting baits and if I don't then by all means if you're looking to pick up, pick up some really good custom stuff then this is one of the ways that you can do it. Now I'm going to leave Paul's information in the description below but um, the long and short of it is that is the phone number 940-591-6811 Red Eye Lures out of Denton, Texas. Throw him some love and let me just kind of feature some of the things he's got. He's got flipping systems in all different weight classes up to one and one eighth ounce. Obviously you're seeing the drop shot weights. You know I came across this and boy I could have used this golden retriever the other day because I lost a beautiful lure that I had made and I could not. I'm like man if I just would have had this thing. But you guys know what these are. Uh, most of the time I used them in boats but you can kind of do it if you're bank fishing too. It's not always a sure thing getting it back like you're in a boat. 
but it's just a system where you put this on the line and then drop it down to your lure that's jammed and most of the time the weight in this will just pop that pop that lure off so these are great these also come in in different sizes uh, this is one of the lighter weight ones he's got some heavier stuff as well buzz baits folks it's that time of year look at these buzz baits He's got plastic on here, he also does. And of course, these are all hand put together and you put your trailers on them. It is trash day, I apologize, it's Thursday. So there's a good chance the dogs are gonna bark, but we're gonna go through this anyways. This is just really, really good, well put together stuff. He's got PBJs, he's got just a myriad of things, different colors, he's got flipping systems. Um, just go give him some love. This guy's the real deal, and he's been in the industry a very long time. So, Paul Styles, if you're out there today, hi, I miss talking to you. We used to talk on the phone a little bit, and we would talk about different painting methods and stuff like that. So, I really enjoyed his company on the phone, and uh, I, I love hearing the stories that he would tell about Zoom lures and, and all, those, all those cool things. So, just a short feature on this, but um, again, I, I need to uh, put this stuff to better use. It's all, it's all hand poured and attached and he's a cool guy. He's a super, super cool guy. And I have a lot of his stuff that I need to put to better use. Um, this is, now, this, some of this stuff is for heavy duty. I mean, we're talking, you're going to be throwing it and getting down fairly deep in your water columns. Just everything you could imagine that uh, can be bent or tied or weighted this guy is a masterful artist at so check him out red eye lures denton texas i'll leave the information in the description below i don't think he has a website but most of the guys that have been in the business a long time you know that their quality is going to be fantastic let's show you what i've been doing so the other box that i came across was all the stuff that i had gotten from vmc and i'm not sponsored by vmc but i do use their hooks a lot a lot a lot a lot um, I used to use their split rings all the time, but now since I deal in pretty much bulk orders of 5,000 or better in a clip, um, sometimes more than that, I'm pretty much Barlow's and Shorty's. Now, Shorty's is out of Missouri, um, but you have to have a business license and tax ID number in order. It's, it's all for business clients for bulk so that's the majority of where i get my stuff from these days but barlow's is also really good if you guys are not um if you guys are just hobbyists or you're doing this part-time and you're not licensed as a business you're not selling over like six hundred dollars a year uh, which you would need a w9 for because you know everybody's sort of thinking about money these days but anyways i'm kind of in the weeds but um, Barlow's is a really good place to get bulk orders of hooks and split rings. Um, so check them out. And if you are a business owner, you're a small business and you're doing lures uh, and you have a tax ID number and you're above board, you're on the books and everything, and you pay excise taxes, then you can take advantage of shorties. So check out shorties in Missouri if you're a business. And if not, the prices are very comparable at Barlow's for stuff um, for split rings and hooks and also check out people like dinger dinger does a whole he does bulk orders now i'm not sure how big the orders get because i haven't ever really looked to be honest um, but i know dinger does um he does split rings i'm not sure about hooks i'll have to look into that but brian over there brian if you're watching this chime in so again i'm trying to feature as many businesses as i can um, and having said that, let's get into the pieces that I've got to show you guys today. Um, but yeah, I use a lot of VMC stuff. And the cool thing about VMC is that they have oddball sizes. So instead of just your twos and fours and sixes, they also have three, five. They have number one hooks. They've got just some crazy oddball stuff. Now, the one thing that is weird about them is that uh, the hooks, if you don't get the bulk packets, they come seven to a pack, so uh, every lure I've ever made in my life, we might have to pause here. He, he gets mad. He just, he just gets mad. Okay, so the trash truck is gone, and shout out to our essential workers also. Thank you for collecting the trash and doing that menial, hard stuff that needs to be done. You are very underappreciated, but I appreciate you.
Thank you for picking up my trash today. And everybody else is in Jonesboro. So, um, yeah, so the thing that's odd is that they have seven packs. And in my life, I've never seen a normal crankbait that, um, that needs one hook or three hooks. Unless it's a big jerkbait. But usually, I, I, I don't know. The seven, I don't know why they couldn't have been eight packs. I don't know. One of life's little mysteries. But let's start out with the Sakana. The Sakana Sakana. It is one of my custom specialty line lures. I love painting them. They take a little bit of effort. That's why they're in the specialty line because there's a lot of extras. I do a little hand painting, hand detailing on these craw pieces. The uh, Japanese symbol for fish is hand done on the side. And these are John over at Jetsons. These are his custom eyes and they are full of cool glitter. These are the white, almost the uh, mutant eyes. So that's the Sakana. I've got these that are going out um, on this beautiful, beautiful day. It is, the sun is shining today. I'm bringing the zombies back because you guys are starting to order them. I know it's been, um, it's been lipless season and I, I don't even know how many of you guys are fit, actively able to fish right now. Uh, this is so strange. We're going to look back on all this and be like, what in the world? Uh, I know a lot of waterways are, are shut down, and the fact that you guys are still ordering stuff is thank you from all of us small businesses in the fishing industry and the the hand crafters and people like Pete's Rodents and, you know, Reckless over there, um, all of us that are doing what we do for a living. Thank you for still supporting small business. That's why I'm featuring you guys. I think you guys should be featured. Um, not just me. I have a platform, and you guys, sometimes maybe you listen to me. I don't know. Maybe you're listening this morning. Molten Lava. These are going out. I'm sorry. This was the Purple Zombie. I know. I've got a lot on my mind today. I've got a lot to do. This is the PBJ in that Dinger Pressing Party Crank Wide Lip Square Bill. Y'all know what it is. This is going out to Mike. Mike, Mike. Also, Jetson Custom Eyes. We've got, I have no one of these, the Wildfire Tiger Shad Crackle. Black Eyes. Uh, these and the yellow ones down here. I've got two of the Molten. So those are from Lord Parts Online. And these do glow, folks. The yellows and the greens, they glow. Fantastic. I didn't know that until I saw it. I'm like, what is that on my desk? And I'd have the light bearing down on it. So, yep. Um, I think in one of the last videos I gave you the part number. You can find them. It's just 3D eyes. So, this is that PBJ pattern. And then we've got two more for Richard. And I need to bring something else up. I mean, because they life just keeps throwing stuff at us, at least here in Jonesboro. So, um, this and there were like five or six other packages that went out on Saturday, March 28th. And for those of you following along, that was the day we had our EF3 hit. Now, saying that, we have just recently found out that there were several, probably an entire town's worth of mail that was damaged. They are not even able to use, let me throw the picture up now. Um, not even able to use the post office because the tornado blew the back of the building clean out. Um, it destroyed multiple mail vehicles and it was, it was a mess and it's a wonder. Again, I say it all the time, but it's a wonder that nobody lost their life. Unreal. Absolutely unreal. Um, so having said that, apparently some of the mail that had been sent out and some packages, I think five that I know of so far, this guy's being one of them, um, this guy's being another, um, were damaged and gone, and they never made it to the Memphis hub. And because there was such loss uh, package-wise, it takes a while to coordinate through tracking information what did and didn't get to our Memphis hub in Memphis, Tennessee, which is where all the mail goes. It's actually also where the largest FedEx in, I think, on the planet where the the planes take off of it. That's the big FedEx, UPS. So Memphis is a pretty sizable hub when it comes to package delivery. So um, 
I've been in the process at no charge to my customers, obviously, because it was just an unforeseen crazy turn of events. Um, I've been redoing, which is cost out of my pocket, um, redoing the packages that never made it. Uh, if you happen to come across, I don't know where the tornado blew them. I think we found stuff in Paragould, which is two towns over. Um, as far as Brooklyn, which is about 12 miles outside of Jonesboro, so just, just crazy, crazy stuff. But um, so I'm in the process of redoing and reshipping those out. You guys have probably all been notified by now. So these are gone. These are going back to the customers. So I am sincerely sorry, even though it's no, really no fault of my own. Um, just happened to be the unlucky day that I sent your packages out. And luckily, no loss of life. But they say the good Lord does not give us more than we can handle. So bring it. We're tough folks down here in Jonesboro. We will get through. Um, having said that, the last couple of pieces, these are really cool. These are for Ricky Jones. And again, this is replacement. So this is the second time. So this is the evolution of my Imperial Crawl. And I really enjoy doing these, but I've really been digging on these creature feature stencils from Anarchy Stencils over in the UK, across the pond, the big pond, Atlantic Ocean over in great britain so brian over there he's got a website that is linked below as well as russ allens who i use quite frequently as well insane custom stencils he's here in the states um russ's probably gets to us quite a bit faster than brian's does but both of them are quite reputable and very good folks to work with um, russ will feature your work on his page i don't know that brian has that capacity because he pretty much like his big format is the um, the modeling industry when i say modeling i'm talking to like cars and rc stuff um he does a lot of the stencils that are real small for the like the you know the metal figures that you can paint and I'm at a loss of words as to what those, but I'm sure one of you guys is going to comment on what those little tiny metal figures are. Um, just not thinking about them right now. But um, between Russ and Brian, uh, I am certainly well kept with stencils. I'm using fewer of the, the art tools these days, but this is one of those, an art tool FX Mini on this Night King, which is still one of my favorite patterns. So I know I've run a little bit over today. We talked about some hooks, um, some of the upgrades that are available through me. I do Stinger Trebles. I do Kamigatsus. Um, that's at my disposal as well. Um, so if you guys need stuff or you want to know what I'm using, so nine times out of ten, unless my customer really asks for something completely oddball, you're going to get a VMC short shank or you're going to get a KVD Mustad short shank. Now the difference between the VMCs and the Mustads is that the Mustads have a hook that kind of comes in. So when you're looking at it, their, their hook kind of goes inward, whereas the VMCs are straight up. So that's what I've got for you guys today. I hope that I haven't been too chaotic and all over the place, but I just had a lot of stuff that I wanted to get to. Wanted to start featuring small businesses as often as I can. That said, if you guys are interested in getting a quick feature on here, no strings attached. I don't want anything for it. Um, I will certainly vet the you know the, the work and make sure that you guys get a shout out. I'm more than happy to do that because we got to stick together. We're all small businesses and we have to get through this economical chaos. <laughs> and that's all I'm going to say about that. Jenna, you guys have a great day. I'll see you on the next video. Cheers.